Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm just uh, demonstrating how to test the 5 pin relay that has a switched 30 to 87A and 87. Pretty much if you look at the relay here on the side, there's a diagram. The coil, coil side is just like all the other relays from 85 to 86, power and ground. And you'll be checking continuity between 30 to 87 and 30 to 87A because it shows both as it switched on. So. Pretty much the first test you're going to do is you want to take two jumper leads, hook up one side to the ground side of the battery, take the other, and just tap it on the positive side. And we can hear an audible click. That tells you that it's switching on and off. So what we want to do is we want to make sure we have continuity from 30 to 87 and 30 to 87A. They're actually numbered here on the underside. I don't know if you guys can quite see in there. It's 30 here, 87. A and 87. So, you want to put your multimeter on there. Hold it just like this. So we should have an audible click plus have our meter set to continuity. So it makes a sound. Let's see, here we go. Just real quick. That's what we want to hear when uh, the circuit's actually powered up. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. So when the relay is activated, we have power so far. We have good continuity between 30 and 87. So let's go ahead and check 30 and 87A. And this is where, once again, I'm gonna pin them out like so. I don't know if you guys can really see that. I got this one here, center post only. And the outer one on the 30, we should also have continuity. Make sure you don't even have a resistance reading so we have a complete open there normally we should have continuity on a good relay so we have a bad relay here so really quick let me um give you guys a close up so we have no continuity between 30 which would be this guy and 87a there's no continuity but we do have continuity between 30 and 87 when powered according to the diagram we should have Continuity there, and I'm not mistaken. That looks like looks like a diode, possibly on that little diagram. So let me recheck that. Let me see. I'm gonna power this thing back up real quick. I didn't notice that the first time. There's a red here. I'll go black here. And red here in the center. So things are diode testing. Now that we have it set on a diode setting, we actually get some current. So, there you go. Sorry, I had to um, rearrange that. So, we have um, between 30 and 87A, there's actually a diode, which is a pretty much a one-way path for electricity. So, you can either go one way, but not the other. So, when we power this up, we actually get a slight amount of voltage allowed to pass through from the tester through and into 87A. So, um, let's see, put this right here so you guys can see. So having the diode function there. So right now we have us a base reading of, let's see we got about 100, 100. Let's see, oh, the ground is on there, the ground on there. So we're going to switch the leads around. Put the, front, put the red one here. So 
So we only have electricity passing one way through the diode. So I would say that this one is actually okay. Current limiting diode, if I'm not mistaken. So that's just a check of a five pin relay that has a built in diode. This is out of a Mercedes S500. In case you guys want to know, just make sure you pay attention very closely to the gut diagram. I didn't see that one at first, but there's actually a little small diode symbol right there. And if you can see, it shows that there is current allowed to travel from 87A to 30. So you set it on the diode setting on your multimeter, and you go ahead and check that. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching.